Actually, I'm looking for the waterfall. I'm wondering where can I find the waterfall. I'm not sure where it is. I want to explore the whole airport, but I'm quite hungry now. Honestly, I don't know where to go. This terminal here is huge, man. As you can see from my face, I'm very, very tired. Oh, let's start recording. Hey guys, today we're going to the airport. I'm sending my brother right now. What's up, what's up? I'm going to the airport now. Uh, my bro is sending me. But don't ask why he's wearing baju kelawa. Okay. This is my first solo trip ever. I'm very excited. Hopefully everything will go smoothly. See you after this. When I arrive at the airport. I've just passed through the uh, immigration. I've never been to this part of this airport, so I'm kind of I don't know, nervous, I guess. Right now, we're going to get eight. Actually, I want to find somewhere to eat. Looks like there's uh, something to eat, but I'm not sure. I'm looking for something heavier, but if I have no other choice, then I just pick that one, I guess. I, I have found the gate, but I don't think there's any food da that side. So I'm just going to go back to that side and maybe just buy the food just now. I bought this tuna sandwich. It cost me 20 ringgit. Oh my god. It's a bit expensive. Lah. Mm. 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 I'm now at the Pacho Hall. Still waiting to uh, still waiting to board. But our plane hasn't arrived yet, so we're just gonna wait here. To be honest, I was quite nervous throughout the entire flight as I didn't know what to expect. But at the same time, I was also pretty excited. I have arrived here at Terminal 4 Airport. My first impression of this place, of Singapore, is it is very clean. It's very clean, the toilet smells really good. Oh my god. Actually, I'm looking for the waterfall, but I'm not sure where it is. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask the information counter, I guess. Hi, excuse me. Um, I'm wondering where, where can I find the waterfall, you know? Go straight. Right? On the left, there's a shuttle bus. Okay. To Jewel. Oh, Jewel, eh? Okay, okay. Do we need to pay for the bus? I don't think. Uh, it's free. Okay, okay. alright. Thank you so much. Okay, so we need to go to the bus. She said it's free, so let's go. Okay, I found the bus stop. Bus 31, Jewel. The buses transport passengers from one terminal to another. Okay, here it is. The second bus. In my case, this bus transported us from Terminal 4 to Jewel. I think it was very convenient because it only took me 5 minutes to wait for the bus. Okay, we have arrived. So yeah, we were at T4, Terminal 4. Now I am at Jewel Airport. Oh, look at that, Jewel. It's actually called Jewel, not Jewel Airport. I know I'm done, okay? Here I am at Jewel Airport, Jewel Terminal, or whatever you want to call it. So I was right, I was at T4. I've arrived here and you can see from here, there's the waterfall. I'm so excited, man. Wow, look at that. So beautiful, man. Apparently there's a lot of people taking photos here, which is understandable. But I hope I can get one photo of me here, or at least one clip of me here. Bro, look at this waterfall. Damn! So beautiful, man! Damn! Uh, okay, so now I want to explore the whole airport, but I'm quite hungry now, so let's 
uh, find a place to eat first. Alright, let's go. It took me a while to find a place to eat because there were so many choices. Honestly, I don't know where to go. This place is huge. It's a whole shopping mall here, man. I smell something nice, but I'm not sure where it comes from. Ah, I think it's this one. I think I'm just gonna eat here. The service here was great. I mean, just look at him bringing me to my table. Okay, let's just look through the menu. Okay, thank you. My first meal in Singapore. Hello, man. Mm, it's very nice. I don't know how to explain the food stuff, but it's really delicious. You can tell that I'm very good at giving food reviews. Mm. Alright guys, I have finished my meal. It was really good. I really love it. It's like the authentic Chinese food. It's really good lah. Wow. It's really huge here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna spend another two hours here. At least one hour. Look at this view. This is even better. It's even closer to the waterfall. It looks really beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Just chill here all day. I mean, I can spend the whole day here, man. Look, I'm finally down here. Look at the view. The view is awesome, man. It's really awesome. I don't know how to explain this, but even though it was crowded, it felt calming and relaxing. I spent like half an hour just sitting there, enjoying the breeze from the waterfall. The airport is really clean, it smells really good. I don't know how they make the airport smells good everywhere. When I'm sitting here, I can feel the breeze coming from the waterfall and it feels really good. Okay, I think I spent enough time here at the waterfall. Let's explore the airport. This time for real. There's actually a lot of cafes here, but I'm not sure whether they're nice or not. I mean, I'm sure they're nice, but they might be very, very expensive. Plus, we are at the airport, you know, the food at the airport is always expensive. Alright guys, so I just found a new view. Look at this. And I'm still waiting for the train to pass by. I'm currently at the uppermost level and there's a lot of plant decoration here which is really nice to see because I don't really see that in any other airports, at least in Malaysia. And at this level, there's a lot of places for you to eat. Right now, I'm trying to find a way to the lowest level because I want to see the waterfall from underneath. I'm finally here guys, I'm down here and I'm finally touching this waterfall. Well, maybe not directly but well, you know what I'm saying. So now I have explored this airport. I think I can finally leave and find our hostel. This is when I realized that the terminal was massive. It was almost like a maze, except that it has large signages, which helped a lot to get me to the sky train. Upon exiting the sky train, I had to find the nearest MRT station. Oh, this terminal here is huge, man. It's really huge. Hey, boy. I went to Cheers to buy an EasyLink card because I needed it to use the MRT. Hey guys, just got my EasyLink card. It looks ugly though. And then I waited for the MRT to arrive. Once it arrived, I got in, sit on the priority seat because I was too stupid to realize that. Right, I finally arrived at Tanah Merah. Now waiting for another train. I had to transfer to another MRT there, and that MRT brought me to a place called Bogis because that is where my capsule, which is my hostel, was located. I am 
friendly outside on the streets. Uh, I just have to find where is my capsule. The distance from Bugis Station to my hostel was only a 10 minute walk, which was very convenient. I want to check in. Uh, Norman. Mm. Norman Baggio. Yes, correct. <laughs> Hi, hi. Come, this is your bed. Okay, so this is my yeah. bed. Okay. Oh, nice. Your locker is here on the right. Okay. Oh, this one. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah? All right, all right. Uh. Thank you, thank you. Hi. Hi, hi. Where are you from? I'm from Malaysia. Oh, okay. I yeah, just came quite... from Malaysia too. Oh, really? Yeah, Kuching. Oh, nice. Yeah. Kuching. I'm, I am from Kuching. Oh, you are? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. What so you this is your, a Japanese lady who grew up in the United States. I was surprised that she just took a flight from Kuching earlier on that day. Just not in the same flight as mine. Uh, What's your name? Yo. Yo. Yeah. I'm Norman. Norman? Yeah, Norman. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. So you're from America. But, yeah. what, but I was born and raised in Japan. Japan. Oh, so, yeah. you, so you're Japanese? I'm Japanese, yes. But I live in uh, San Francisco. And apparently, she likes traveling too. I visit my friend in uh, New Zealand, and then uh, slowly going through Indonesia, Borneo, see, and then come here, and then now I'm going to Bangkok in a few days. Oh, yeah, nice. meeting my sister, and then go back to Japan, my home, and then go back to America. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, see you later. That's the fun thing about traveling alone. You can uh, meet new people and possibly make friends with them. Hi. So right now, what I'm going to do is I want to go out and find a place to eat. It's 7.20 now. It's a bit late, but it's okay. I want to see the nightlife in Singapore. I'm actually looking for a place called Albert Center. Crossing the road. Why did the chicken cross the road? There's no answer for it. Wow, it's so happening here. So these are like the hawker center. Oh, look at this. Oh. Okay, we're gonna go eat first. After we eat, and then we will explore that place. We found it. Albert Center. Hello. Uh, do you have? Sweet and sour pork rice? Ah, yeah, one. Yeah, eat here. Oh, it's very cheap here. 350 for sweet and sour pork rice. That is very cheap. What time do you close? Uh, 10, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Oh. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, it's kind of weird that I'm recording myself eating, but whatever. It's not always sweet and sour pork. The taste is good, but it's too dry for me. Or maybe I need some water first before I eat. Okay, I found the drink. I bought two drinks because I'm freaking thirsty. The food was good, but the texture was hard for me to chew. Now we're entering this uh, pedestrian link to Boogie's MRT. There's a lot of different shops here. You can see there's snacks and then clothes, souvenirs. I think I need to buy something for my friends, my family. Mm. 
this one looks interesting. Okay, like this one. Okay, I got my souvenir here. I think it's time to go back. I don't want to stay there for too long. I might buy more unnecessary things there. As I went back to my hostel, I found myself reflecting on the new experiences that marked my first day in this vibrant city of Singapore. And I would say that everything went well, most of the time. But honestly, in the first few moments before my flight, I felt scared for some reason. Maybe because this is my first time travelling alone outside of Malaysia. But as soon as I got to Changi Airport, I was mesmerised by the waterfall's beauty and the airport's general cleanliness. Yes, there were times when I felt worn out, extremely exhausted. And yes, there were times I felt like I was lost too. However, it's the sights of this enchanted city and meeting new faces that have me excitedly looking forward to tomorrow's adventures. It's the first day here in Singapore and I already got shit on by a bird. Look at this. Mm. I cannot wait to explore Singapore though. <laughs>